Hey guys, it's OSS from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder, and today I'm just going to be showing you guys how to use alternate weather apps instead of the default AccuWeather weather app on your GS3. So here's the, the AccuWeather app, which is cool. I find it a little graphic heavy and kind of cheesy, but um, obviously it does what it does. It shows you the weather, so if that's all you're looking for, then obviously you're fine. But um, there is a nice app. It's called Nice Weather, and... Um, it's kind of just takes the minimalistic approach to the weather as you can see right here so this is basically the app page and you can see that it's in celsius right now well maybe you can't see that but um you can change that in the settings by going to here unit and then just clicking on fahrenheit and you also display the wind graph change those units since we're in America miles per hour um, and then 24 hour clock on or off and that's it I mean those are the basic settings then you just go back and here you have it so there's the wind 77 degrees no rain it's a beautiful day actually outside and then if you move this you can see that the hours are changing so this is just later in the day what the weather will be like etc and then it goes into the next day you can also just swipe over and then it'll show you the next day's forecast you can do the same thing hour of the day and then swipe over here's Wednesday and that's that's I mean that's really the basic gist of the app you can upgrade to the pro version it'll say right here if you want to use widgets and add more cities upgrade to that pro version so you can just click on upgrade now and there it is two dollars a year it's kind of annoying that it's actually a yearly price, it should just be a fixed price, but that's what the developer thought he would do, and so he did it. Now, um, another app that I actually really like is Yahoo. So I have the Yahoo Weather installed right here, and I just think it just looks, it looks the cleanest, um, and it actually has a lot of stuff. So if you want a whole, it's a pretty much a full-size application. So I'll do more things. Um, and then you can see it has cool images that actually change daily. Um, you can scroll up, you get the five day forecast. You can do a 10 day forecast right there. Uh, you get the details, humidity, visibility, UV index, and then you can even have the map, and then wind pressure, precipitation, sun and moon. I mean, it's obviously it's one of the most expansive applications. It looks good. Um, you can add those little extras on there. Smart weather, add a city. Um, and that's I mean, that's really it. So that's Yahoo Weather. It's free in the Play Store. And then there's Nice Weather. If you're just looking for plain, simple, you want the weather, you don't care about awesome pictures and 30-day forecasts or whatever, um, you can just make sure to check out Nice Weather, which is also available for free in the Play Store. Um, so that's really it, guys. Those are your weather options on the GS3. Choose whichever one you think is the best, um, and then you're well on your way to awesome weather forecasts. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the full tutorial for more screenshots and information on all the apps that I covered, and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.